Welcome back to Tightwad Workshop. This picnic bench now has a new owner, so today we're going to be finishing it off to Joanne's specifications. The first thing we need to do is make a hole in the centre for this umbrella. I'll start by flipping the table over and supporting it on our source tools. Normally, to fit an umbrella to a table, you just make a hole through the centre board in the tabletop. Unfortunately, I used an even number of boards, so the hole will need to be across both of these boards. To make that work, I'll need to add a bracing board to the underside of the top. The drill battery's just gone flat, so I'll finish the screws with my trusty brace. Okay, for this one I'll have to go really old school. Now we can mark the centre of the brace board. I'll be using a hole saw to drill the umbrella hole. That one's a little small, but this one's just right. Small hole saws like this one just screw onto the arbor. But bigger ones like this usually have these extra holes in the end. These holes are used by these two drive dogs on the arbor. You screw the hole saw onto its arbor as usual. Then you turn the collar at the back to extend the drive dogs. The dogs then fit through the holes in the saw. This prevents the saw from getting screwed super tight onto the arbor and making it hard to remove. We're going to need a more powerful drill to drive the hole saw, and this one even has a fully charged battery. So now we can drill a pilot hole, then saw through the brace board with the hole saw. We need to stop here and remove this piece of waste from the hole saw, otherwise it won't be long enough to cut through the tabletop. Let's go ahead and finish that hole. Okay, that should work, but it's always best to test it. We want to paint the wood finish on all surfaces of the boards, but these gaps are going to be hard to reach with the brush. I'll get around this by numbering all the boards with a marker pen, then removing every second board while we paint them. Now we can lay out a drop cloth and get ready to paint. I'm going to use this weather protection wood gel. It's been on the shelf for quite a while, but it should still be okay. This label says that it's suitable for outdoor use, but the table's going to live outside, so I'm only really expecting it to last three or four years. The gel is really weird looking stuff if you're used to paint and lacquer finishes, but it looks good as soon as you brush it onto the wood. I'll apply two coats of gel, then let it dry overnight. Once the gel's dried, we can reassemble the table. Now I'll lift it down off the saw stools and move it to the front of the house. Joanne has an umbrella base to go underneath the table, but I'll just use the spare wheel from my trailer. Now we can see how well the umbrella fits the table. That's not too bad, now we just need to deliver it. Joanne plans to keep the bench in her horse paddock. Once we set it up, I met Charlie and Ruby. We were all a little bit shy to start with, but once we'd shared a bag of carrots, we became firm friends. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Tightwad Workshop is filmed in front of a live studio audience.